lady, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your SummerSlam review. Um, when I saw the Cena match, I thought this was going to be a good show overall, you know what I mean, but things kind of went downhill after that there. First match, Jericho and Owens defeated Enzo and Cass. A basic tag match, I guess. Um, I don't know if they're going to be a real team or what the fuck's going to happen, but match was okay. Second match, Charlotte defeated Sasha Banks. Overall, it was a good match, but... There was a couple of big botches, one terrible, like, dangerous looking botch in the corner. Um, I don't think they would do that shit by purpose. There was another botch after that. And I still don't know why Charlotte defeated Sasha Banks. Maybe it's because Sasha completely sucks on the mic. I don't know if it's because of that or what, but maybe Sasha's going to win it back. Uh, match was okay, but I don't understand how come Charlotte won right away. Third match, The Miz defeated Apollo Crews in a plain throwaway match. Didn't feel like a big match at all there. Fourth match, AJ Styles defeated John Cena. Made a video about this earlier. Incredible match. Fucking super good match. So good that after this was over, the rest of the show just felt like crap, to be honest. Um, it was like downhill after that there. Fifth match, Gallows and Anderson defeated New Day by disqualification. Jon Stewart was involved there doing some cheap comedy that wasn't funny. Um, Big E made his comeback. He attacked Gallows and Anderson. It was a disqualification. Just cheap filler in between the... Uh, Two matches, they're just trash pretty much. Six match, Dean Ambrose defeated Dolph Ziggler. Um, I'm happy that Ambrose won just so that Ziggler didn't win, you know what I mean. But this match did not deliver, you know. They tried to make Ziggler look like a credible opponent. He just looked like a fucking jobber. <clears throat> And the match just felt cheap. It didn't feel like a world title match. It looked like the second match on SmackDown or something, you know. Just didn't feel like a, a, a title match at all. It, it, it looks like the world titles have been devalued tonight there. And um, yeah... Seventh match, Natalia, Alexa Bliss, and Nikki Bella. Nikki Bella making her return. I like Nikki Bella. She's pretty fucking hot or whatever. Um, they defeated Becky, Naomi, and Carmella. You know, this was for Nikki's return. While well, it was supposed to be Eva Marie in the match there, but... They just threw Nikki Bella's return in there to try to save the match, but match wasn't uh, anything <laughs> worth talking about there. And Finn Balor defeated Seth Rollins for the Universal title. And the belt is just red. It's the WWE title, same thing, except it's red. It, just looks like the women's championship um, and the match was okay but it wasn't as good as it could have been these are supposed to be two super indie guys with amazing wrestling it was Finn Balor doing a shit ton of drop kicks you know it was a, a good enough match it wasn't a bad match 
it felt better than Dean Ambrose and Ziggler, but you know, it just doesn't feel right. Finn Balor is just so fucking small, you know, like I know it's it's a new era and small is the new big there according to the fans, I don't know, but he is just so fucking small, he's tiny, fuck, like this big, like fucking 90 pounds or something, I don't know, man, and he's not that good on the mic, sure he can wrestle, you know, but they can all wrestle these these indie guys is the the paint is this paint gonna be good enough to to be a big star to be the face of raw with the new title you know i think it shows that wwe is going into this weird indie wrestling direction and it's it's not what it used to be. It's not real stars anymore. Both world title matches, they, it feels like you're watching NXT there. It feels small time kind of deal. It doesn't have that big time feel like it was back in the day, you know? I don't know. I don't know if this is worth it, to be honest. Um, Rusev and Roman Reigns, they were supposed to have the match. Rusev attacked him before the bell rang. And Reigns just pretty much destroyed him. He destroyed him along with his credibility. Rusev is pretty much done at this point. I don't know. Um, and in the main event, Brock Lesnar defeated Orton by TKO. Um, you know, it wasn't a long match. Brock starts hitting him like this on the head, okay? Just a couple of basic shots. Maybe he hit him by accident, I'm not sure. Because Orton started gushing blood, you know? Um, it, it's blood. Yes, we don't get blood anymore. We get to see blood. It's supposed to be cool, but that's how the match ended. You know, a couple of little shots like this, he starts gushing blood, and it just stopped. You know, by TKO, you didn't get a finish to the match because of the blood. I guess the doctors think that it, it was too hardcore, the blood, I, I don't fucking know, but... You know, back in the day, guys like Sabu would fucking tape himself, fucking arms fucking flapping in the wind with blood all over, puts tape on himself, finishes the match. Orton gets busted open by accident or something, and they just call the match off pretty fucking cheap there. You know, and people were cheering for Goldberg, I guess, the way that it ended, people were expecting somebody big to come out, Goldberg, but that never happened. <laughs> and Shane McMahon comes out, Brock gives him the F5, so I don't know if they're, they're going to set up a match between Lesnar and Shane. You know, that's as unbelievable as it fucking gets there, but... Pretty fucking cheap finish there. Yes, you get blood, but you know it's uh, it's, it's fuck finish the match. Have a fucking move to fucking finish the match. The fuck is this crap? You know the Cena match was really really good. You had a couple matches that were okay, but it didn't feel that that good especially at the end with a fucking shit finish like this the two world title matches were underwhelming kind of deal especially Ambrose it ended it felt so uneventful the end of his match you know Cena was was very good that match was good but Apart from that, the show wasn't that that good there. <laughs> it was decent at best, pretty cheap, I think, the way it ended. And 
not not that great. I think WWE's future is fucked after this. Two guys like that as the world champs there. It's uh, <clears throat> I think the credibility of wrestling is gone after this. A guy gets busted open and they finish the match. Fuck you there. The fuck kind of garbage was this? One good match. The rest was mediocre bullshit with a shit fucked up ending. Fuck this crap. Until next time. Peace.